Have you ever been juggling so many things that you feel like a squirrel on caffeine? Go get them, boy. Well, as a full-time music student at Berklee College of Music, I sure know the feeling. But I don't want to feel that way anymore. I want to refocus, I want to reprioritize, and make time for the things that are truly important to me. This is my new daily routine. A very mild day. We're already 51 degrees in Boston. Just a reminder, it's mid-February. Uh, these temperatures are well above average. Okay, there are a million videos out there on the ideal morning routine, but in my opinion, it doesn't really matter what you do. The most important thing about a mindful morning routine is what we're not doing. Good morning, y'all. I don't know about you guys, but I find that I have a really bad habit of just picking up my phone first thing in the morning and just immediately going to Instagram to the news to my mail inbox for some reason and just doom scrolling the first 30 minutes of my morning away. And I find that when I check into the world first thing in the morning, I end up going through my day feeling a lot more stressed and a lot more reactive. And that's confirmed by these four scientific papers right here. And so I'm trying to replace that habit of doom scrolling first thing in the morning with reading. And the book that I'm currently reading right now is Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. How apt, we're talking about daily routines and stuff. This is like the self-help routine Bible. And so I'm just trying to take as many of the routines and tools that I can from this book and apply them to my daily routine. I'm gonna get some reading done and then we're gonna go to the gym. The gym is my safe space. I've been exercising consistently for over a year now, and after many years of being on and off, I've finally gotten it to stick. Once I get home, I'll eat a quick meal that I prepped the night before, and watch a video in French to prepare for our next event of the day. Let's go learn some French. Est-ce que tu as des amis francophones? Oui, uh, j'ai un ami francophone à l'école. So you might be wondering, why the heck is Amir learning French? Isn't he Filipino? That's like a different F nationality. Well, let me explain. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little bit of a secret. Annie and I are gonna be going on a trip to Paris for spring break. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and so I thought, hmm, it would be a really cool idea to make a video about learning languages. What if I did a challenge where I tried to learn as much French as I can in 30 days? And so that's what I've been doing for the last 30 days as of filming this video. And it has been extraordinarily rewarding. A bientôt. A bientôt. Oh, très bien. All right, French lesson is over. And as usual, it's a lot of fun. I love just learning foreign languages now. Also, usually Boston is cold as hell, but today it decided to be a little bit warmer. And when I say warm, I mean six degrees Celsius. So I will not have to bundle up super, super, uh, what, whatever the word is. Warm? Super much? I don't know, I can barely speak English. School takes up the majority of my week, for better or for worse, and trying to balance everything around it has been the struggle of my life. <laughs> Why am I putting myself through this? But with this new routine, I'm really glad that I'm starting the day off focusing on me and my priorities. You see, whenever I feel overwhelmed or lost, nine times out of 10, it's because I'm not living in alignment with my priorities. And so in typical type A fashion, I decided to make a list. Big surprise there, Amir. We need more lists. We need lists of lists. We need lists within lists. We need lists of lists of lists within lists of lists. And so I started off by listing out my main areas of focus, such as this YouTube channel, school, my relationships, my well-being. And then I went through a little bit of a thought experiment where I weighed each area up against the other. For example, my well-being versus this YouTube channel. If I could only have one or the other, which would I have? Well. I'm not willing to sacrifice my well-being for anything. And so that becomes my number one priority. And so now whenever I need to make a decision, it's really easy. I just reference the list. And even if it's an uncomfortable decision, like declining a project or declining an invitation to a really cool event, I still feel really confident in my decisions because list, not the composer. Let's go to class. <laughs> Anyways, class is done and I'm ready to tackle the rest of the day, but you know what I desperately need before all that? Oh yeah. I will grab a hot latte with oat milk and I'll grab a pesha galactus. I think I have a spending problem when it comes to tate. No joke, y'all. I literally eat a pan chocolat like twice a week at this point. I think I have a little bit of a problem, but that's probably why I'm going to Paris because I'm just going to try one every single day. Anyways, after eating my second pan chocolat of the week, I met up with my friend Rafi and we made our way down to the central library. <music> 
Y'all, the Boston Public Library is easily my favorite spot in the entire city. I mean, it's the grandest, most beautiful library I've ever seen, and it looks even better on the inside. This is where I come to get serious work done, so this is where I come to edit videos, where I come to study, where I come to write these videos, and that's exactly what we're gonna go do today. I've been coming here ever since I first moved to Boston, and I still can't get enough of it. The smell of old books, the quiet murmur of people working, the way that sunlight filters through the windows. When I'm here, I feel like I can shut out the noise of the world and focus on what truly matters to me. This period of focus is my favorite part of my routine, and I'm curious to know what my friend's favorite part of their routine is. What's your favorite part about your routine? It seems counterintuitive, but that cold shower when I come back from the gym, it is, you are so present mm -hmm. and in the moment. That second when you turn that knob to the right and it's cold and, and you're it's like freezing. screaming. Ah! That's honestly my favorite part. You're alive. Journaling is probably one of my favorite. It is my favorite thing in the world. College is very busy and as people who are going to music school, things can get very packed very easily. But with journaling and sort of looking back at each day, I've sort of shifted my view because now I see it as I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to be tired because mm -hmm. of all these things True. that I have in my life True. now. I feel more fulfilled rather than like drained and totally. tired. I think we should start a podcast. <laughs> I'm just we oh, should. <laughs> Spending time with people that love and uplift me is central to the way that I live. But to be honest, it can be hard to make time for our relationships when we're busy and hard driving. That's why with this new routine, I'm gonna prioritize connecting with friends whenever I can, whether it's a quick phone call or grabbing dinner together. I present to you tomato confit. Oh my god! This is so bougie. Catch. Today has been a long day, but a very, very good day. I am very worn out, and the lack of sleep is starting to catch up to me, but my heart is also full, even though my energetic bank is literally depleted right now. Anyways, gotta run some errands, and then we wrap up the day with a little bit more studying, and then I will probably pass out and have a very good night's sleep. Once I get home, I'll study more French, do some homework, or most likely FaceTime my girlfriend. I just made garlic bread. I have Malona. Hello, Malona queen. Okay, we're gonna take the garlic bread out. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> do you see this? Yeah, I do. That looks great. Look at that color. I can feel the crotch. Oh yeah, listen to this, y'all. And to close the day, I'll write a short journal entry in French. As I wrap up my day in this new routine, I gotta say, I feel pretty darn good. It's not always easy to balance all the different aspects of our lives, but with a little bit of mindfulness and intentionality, we can start to create the kind of days that lead us closer to where we want to be. At the end of the day, this day has taught me that it's not about having the perfect routine or about having everything figured out, but instead it's about living in alignment with our priorities and our values even when life gets messy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> no more face and no more <laughs>